How do you go into this and do it right? How do you avoid all the likely pitfalls and snares that always trip up the neophyte new, new startups? That five handles is plenty. And you can split it up and, and make your whole 25 handle career on multiple trades or one individual trade in the morning that gets five handles and you're done for the whole day. That releases you from all of the expectations of being in front of these charts longer than it's necessary, which is good. You want to limit that. So if you get your trade with five handles when you're first starting out, turn the charts off. Look at everything afterwards in hindsight. Don't be lured into doing more because something moves around quick. You don't want to add to what's already been given to you, and that's your goal. Stop. That's what profitable trading is, having a goal, a business model. Okay, We call it a trading model, but it's a business model. You know, Foot Locker don't go out there and say, you know what? We're doing so well selling shoes. We need to get into the fucking pizza business. Let's start selling pizzas and burritos because you know, who wouldn't want a fucking Foot Locker burrito, right? That shit don't work. OK, you're not going to upset the model that works for them. OK, and vice versa. You have a model. You sit down, you've done all the work, you built yourself up, you're learning this. And now you settled in. You're going to look for five handles in the E-mini S&P or the NASDAQ, one or the other. I'm preferring ES, and I think you should do that, too. If you want to go into NQ later on when you have more you know, ability, that's fine. But it, when it moves fast, it can be wild and it can hurt you. It's a little bit more chaotic. So just be mindful of that. Don't be afraid of it, but in the beginning, respect it, because if you don't know what you're doing, it can sting you. But you want to have that, that business model of knowing when are you going to stop? See, when I go into live streamers all the time, I'll ask them, I'll say, hey, look, I asked this of uh, Trades by Matt. I asked it by Corbs. I asked it by two other YouTubers, and they ignored me in there because I know why. <laughs> they don't want to talk to me because they think I'm in there you know, trying to make fun of them. I'm not. I respect anybody that's doing a live stream. You know, I would never go in there and try to be disruptive about anything like that because number one, it takes a lot of focus and it's a dick move. And two, I can I can respect the fact that they're doing it because there isn't a lot of people that are willing to get out there and literally live stream. So that's that is ballsy in anybody that does it. Yeah, that's that they got my respect, even if they blow up all the time and you know blow their accounts and go to maximum loss multiple times in the same week. It's still respectful that they do it. I want to ask them questions like, hey, you know, when do you stop? What draws the line in the sand? Say, okay, I'm not trading anymore today. I've done enough, either because of the loss or the win. Like, how how do you get to the point of contentment where you no longer feel that it's needed for you to be in front of the charts? Have you even considered that? in your development, in your, in your building of your trading plan. Because it's easy to see, oh, it's early. I've already got my 10 handles for the day. That's two days of work. That's two days of work. What do you think? You're going to go in there again? Because that's exactly what you're going to do. You're going to think, the market's on fire. you got to push your edge until it's dull and you lost what you made and more. Plus commissions. Don't you feel smart? Twitter can get you hurt by people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Your business model is only profitable when you follow it. Your trading plan is only profitable when you follow it. Your wife, your husband, your significant other, your children, your dependents, your best friends, your coworkers, your boss, and ICT, we're not going to be there to help you press the button and manage it and tell you when to stop. That's personal responsibility. And all of that rests on your shoulders. And if you're not in tune with the things that will lure you into dumb shit, gambling, going in there one more time, you got a good day. You made $1,000. You didn't try to make $1,000. It just, just happened, fell right in your hands. Don't look at that as, oh, shit, I'm way better than I thought I was. Fuck. I've been thinking about this all this time, thinking I wasn't that great. Look how good I am. I'm going to go out there and do this five more times because. Shit, that's $6,000. Who doesn't want a $6,000 a day? And then all of a sudden, you're looking at your account. It's gone. I've done that. <laughs> I've done it. I've done that. Okay, so you have to know when you're going to pull the plug. 
And we're going to talk about that real time in 2023. What changes the, the, the landscape, if you will, of the chart that says, you know what? It might move a little bit more, but I'm not interested anymore. I'm done. And that's going to piss people off. I'm like, well, why do you? And then you'll see them. They'll come in afterwards. Oh, but look at this move here that you didn't take. And I took this trade. Good for you. Well done. Good for you. I'm not going to shoot that down. But don't come at me because you found something that outside what well, I'm willing to take a trade on. That doesn't mean shit. It just means that you found the setup and you engaged it. Well done. That's exactly what traders are supposed to do. Find an independent setup that they took on their self and they manage the risk. And if it was profitable, great. The point is I'm teaching people that don't know what the fuck they're doing. How do you go into this and do it right? How do you avoid all the likely pitfalls and snares that always trip up the neophyte new, new startups? See, you don't even know what you're likely to fall in, a victim to because you're too new. You have no idea how you're going to hurt yourself because you've never done it before. You got to learn from somebody that's done those things to themselves and learn from them. Not, yeah, just learn how to trade. I'm funded. Let me show you how to do it. Fuck that. No way. No, 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 no way. 